We're off to France to Mr. Sir John Hegarty. It's famous for making us all wear boxer shorts and washing our jeans and laundrettes. He now is making very distinguished wine in the southwest part of France, sort of Min Minervois, is that right? Yeah, it's a very, very big region. That one area makes three or four times more wine than the whole of Australia and New Zealand put together. Oh, okay. In these regions, because these are wines which traditionally were vineyards planted with several varieties, yeah. what we call plantation en massal. So you're actually picking different grape varieties all together in the same bin. The Appalachian rules require you to make it from several oh, varieties because the style is about blending the varieties. Right. This is about 20 pounds a bottle. That's good Sunday roast money for a wine from Minervois. And it's made primarily from a grape variety which is hugely underrated, which is called Morvedra. And it's chocolatey, dark, almost black olively in, in its intensity. Then you've got your Syrah. And at the end, you've got Carignan. So should we see how he's uh, managed to blend those together? Any, any problem I see here is he's been sort of David Blaine stuck in a glass box. <laughs> this is called an enomatic. When you press a button here, wine shoots out here. So put your glass on me. And what's what it's doing is refilling the bottle with argon gas. Okay. So even though there's that much left in the bottom, it'll keep for weeks and weeks, maybe six, eight weeks. I can get like sort of dark chocolatey, almost like sort of viney, tomatoey. It's quite herby. I mean, it's one of the best wines in the world with salami. That's a wine that you have on holiday and you bring home and you do actually want to drink it again. That is, that is really good. So if you were home, what, you, what you would, would, would you be cooking with that then? I would cook a very slow roast shoulder of lamb with loads of root vegetables underneath and I'd put a, a cheap wine that was similar in style to this in there and I'd braise it for like eight hours. Who are you going to be hosting then, Chief, for this, uh, this little gourmet meal? Well, I think this particular wine with a nice, big, slow roasted sort of shoulder of, uh, of lamb, I would think someone like Oliver Reed. You've got a wine of real class, yeah. power, fine Englishman, but he's never going to be royal family, is he? He's no, far, no, no. There's a little bit of rough no. there. <laughs> I think, actually, a bit more. Go on, then. No one's looking. <laughs> it's delicious, isn't it? That's beautiful, thank you. Marvellous. <laughs>